Hey Studio 10, we are back at Baking Cakes. I know it's been a while and normally we're at the front of the bakery, but today we're gonna go behind the bread and butter to learn about the bakers and the people here. Hey Studio 10, we are back at Baking Cakes. I know it's been a while and normally we're at the front of the bakery, but today we're gonna go behind the bread and butter to learn about the bakers and the people here who make the beautiful cakes that always put a smile on our face. We've seen her work, but very rarely do we see her. We're here with Mara this afternoon. Yes, hello. How are you? I am great, how are you? I am so excited to talk to you because every time we're here off camera, I'm watching Mara put together these beautiful masterpieces. Thank and you. today she's gonna let us inside the secret, but she's also gonna talk to us about how her passion and creativity all come together. So with that yes. being said, what are we making here today, Mara? We are gonna do our football shaped cake. Um, so we're gonna be using our white buttercream and icing it with our star tip. And then we have a grass tip that we're gonna be doing around the bottom. So, you know, getting ready for football season. That's right, we gotta Tailgates. say go green. Yes, go white. There we go. And with that being said, before we get started, Mara, you have so much creativity and you really know how to think outside the box, outside the oven. Yeah. I have to say, but talk to me first about the very first time you started baking. How did that go? I started back in high school. So I used to do um, bake sales and stuff at school for all the you know other students there, the teachers, counselors and stuff. And then they would ask me to make cakes and stuff for their families and their kids for their birthday parties. So that's kind of where it all started. Um, and, and I then, love that you said high school because yeah. a lot of times we think that, hey, if I didn't start doing this at five years old or when I was a kid, and sometimes a passion comes up with you mm -hmm. afterwards, you think, oh, I'm, it's too late for me to start. And then I got you lucky enough to get offered an internship here my senior year instead of, you know, doing other core classes. And then I've been here ever since. What made you say, hey, let's make this into a football instead of our typical circular or, or square cake? Because it's more fun. It's something different, you know? You want to do more fun, unique things, not always do everything the same, you know? Why don't you show me the ropes? Or sure. show me the toppings, I should say. Yeah. How do we get started? Yeah, so we're going to start by just icing it white. Mm -hmm. So I just go around with the star tip. Okay. Sometimes, I mean, it really just depends, too, on the customer as well, because we'll get stuff where we do matching picture references or they'll give you creative freedom and they'll just say decorator's choice so they'll ask you you know or we'll ask if you would like what theme decorations you want like fall decorations birthday flowers sprinkles if they you know don't want to choose something like that then right. we always ask just to provide a picture of kind of what you're looking for decoration wise okay. there's been times where I, you know i've read an order wrong and done the wrong color icing and had to completely scrape and you know redo the whole thing but you know that's okay it's like it turns out better the second time anyway so i'd say i like to do a lot of the cutout custom shaped ones and the fondant stuff so i did one a while ago it was a 3d fondant realistic looking pineapple cake that one was probably one of my favorite ones i've ever done oh. growing up my mom always used to make me shaped cake pans like this okay. so i think that's kind of where i started to get that from you know that saying, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, but clearly Absolutely. nothing was too hot for you yeah. back then. So, you know, sometimes I do draw stuff out on a piece of paper and write it out just so I can get that visual before I actually go and do it. I love that. So sometimes you have to practice it yes. out. You have to draw it out and go to the drawing board before we get to the cake board. Absolutely. But with that being said, yes. I'd like to give it a try. I know yes. you said practice makes perfect. Yeah. Are you left-handed right handed? I'm right handed. Okay. So you're going to want to use your right hand down here. Okay. Right hand is at the yep. bottom. And then you're going to hold this up here with your left hand for support. And then you squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. Not too yes. bad, right? Squeeze and pull. Perfect. And Mara, what I think is the best and most rewarding part about this is that cakes really represent, of course, they're sweet, they're delicious, they're a great treat. You can't have a party without it but you're making that memory and you're part of somebody else's special day, mm -hmm. right? You get to be a part of somebody's wedding anniversary. You oh, get yeah. to be a part of someone's first birthday 
or uh, a big celebration that a lot of times only comes once in a lifetime. So how does that feel knowing that, hey, you got to be a part of someone's special moment that they'll have pictures and photos to remember from? Oh yes, it's such a rewarding feeling because you know I have so many regulars that come in. Um, one woman in particular whose daughter started coming in when she was about five. Mm -hmm. So, and I've got to see her, you know, grow. I've been here for 10 years now and seeing her now at 15 verse five is, you know, it's so cool. She comes in and gets her birthday cakes for her every year. Yeah. And it's just, it's super cool to see what the next idea is gonna be for her cake. Absolutely, and you get to make Every those... year it's something different. <laughs> yeah, you make those memories and those relationships with people. And, and like you said, watching them grow yeah. over time. You build, you know, great relationships with the customers as well. I love that. Well, with that being said, I think, uh, our Spartan Stadium isn't too bad. Yeah. Not too bad looking. Well, Mara, thank you so much for letting us come behind the bakery and getting to know and share a little bit more about your story. And I have to tell you, this is already sweet enough as it is, but getting to know you and learning about your passion, your creativity that you get to put together all in a beautiful cake makes us even sweeter. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.